This is Twit. Company I CEO Sam Altman has a uh, $27 million mansion that's famous to me because when all the opening eye stuff went down, uh, information reporters as well as later New York Times and Wall Street Journal reporters camped out outside. Turns out it's a lemon he's uh, accusing it of with the pool leaking water into the foundation and whatnot. Um, so this is a Do brand- watch the video. The video is amazing. Oh, we should play the audio. Will we get taken down if we play the audio from this? And in San Francisco- It's a guy talking. That sort of space is extremely hard to come by. This is the, the guy who represents the company that built it that sold it to Sam Altman for $27 million. He's now suing them for millions. With sauna, those stones. It's got a sauna. It's got a steam room. It's got a massage room. The quote-unquote shoddy workmanship has led to the pool leaking a flood of water into the home's lower level last August. It is and the pool sewage. is a four-way. Uh, what do you call them? Uh, 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 infinity uh, pool. Orderless. Infinity pool. Infinity Four pool. way. Always. Yeah. All sides. Uh, All his legal team it. estimates the cost to repair the pool would be upwards of $4 million, And that's not counting the, quote, unconnected bathroom sewer line that dumped raw sewage on the ground, <clears throat> numerous leaking irrigation lines, and the water intrusion at skylights, among other issues. One of the complaints was that uh, the developer didn't hire qualified contractors and then didn't pay them on time, so they retaliated by filling drainage and sewer pipes with contractor bags and debris. <laughs> oh, my God. So it couldn't happen the to a house nicer notably, fella. It's a nice house. The house notably has a bat yeah. cave yeah. leading into the garage. Yeah, I think they showed that in this uh, this this Troon, this Troon video. Uh, they show the bat cave. Um, it has a wellness cottage on property. That's what where the sauna doing? and the uh, steam and the mas massage are. Those stones came from the original building in 1906. Oh wow! Which was probably which was the year of the of the earthquake. So God knows maybe they fell off. I don't know. Was um, so there was a building there and they tore it down to build. I don't this. know when. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there has to have been something. It's, downtown San Francisco. I guess there's always something. It's at the it's top a city of block. Lombard Street. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my it's God. six lots. Altman last year, this is from the Daily Beast, Altman last year told Time about another headache with his home that didn't have anything to do with build quality. Quote, this coyote moved into my house and scratches on the door outside, Altman told the magazine, which also ran pictures of the wild animal on the swanky property. See? Quote, See? it's very cute, but it's very annoying at night. Yeah, uh, well, you know, you're... It is the coyote's uh, territory. It's actually a media executive. It's okay. AI will take care of all wow. of Sam, don't yeah. worry. Don't worry, Sam. <laughs> yeah. There it's are some coyote. very dramatic photos of this coyote, which I'll put in the chat. Oh, do. <laughs> coyote oh, had a listen. full photo shoot. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's quite a beaut. Hello, I'm your coyote. I'll be your coyote <laughs> for the evening. <laughs> hey, you didn't get a permission to use my material <laughs> in your large language model? <laughs> Oh, he's sleeping on the couch. Aw. Oh, he's very cute. cute. Honestly. Is it? Oh, and there's a, oh, you see, there's the coyote being scared by the roadrunner. So that's what he needed. He needed a roadrunner in the house. Well, you just call animal control, Sam, and they come and they get the coyote. In fact, it might even be Micah Sargent who comes and gets him. He does that kind of thing, you know. He rescues uh, animals. Really? He yeah. does that yeah. sort of thing? He rescues coyotes from billionaires' homes? Well, that not that sort of thing, but he does rescue animals. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, he's uh, he volunteers for one of our local, uh, he loves animals and one of our an one of our local, I guess, animal rescue societies. Yeah. God, he's amazing. I know. Wow. We do that. He gets, he got trained in like how to, he, he showed me a video of him catching a raccoon. I don't know. Am I not supposed to talk about this? Is this private? I don't know. He was, I'm I'm impressed. He's a hero. Yeah, that's they, impressive. It was a it was a raccoon who'd gotten a stray, and he has to put on these gloves, and he sits there very. Oh no, it was an owl. It was a barn owl, and he sits there very quietly. To the owl trusts him, and he goes ah, and he gabs it, and he puts it in a bag, and he runs off. <laughs> anyway, that's what the video. That's what I saw in the video. I could be. There's more to the story. Hey, 
it's Leo Laporte. I hope you enjoyed this little snippet from our show this week in Google. For the full show, you can either go to our website, twit.tv slash twig, or find Twig in your favorite podcast client. And, of course, there's links right below, somewhere down there, for more information.